HVAC, how to size and design. Ducks, basic part, 1. Contents. Ductwork design principles. Basic definitions. Airflow principles. Total pressure, velocity pressure, and static pressure. Airflow characteristics in duct. This photo by on HVAC, how to size and design ducts. This photo by unknown author is licensed under CC by NC. Airflow problems have plagued the HVAC industry for years. No matter how much money you spend on a high-quality HVAC system, the equipment won't work at its best without properly designed and installed duct work. Ducts that are not well designed result in discomfort, high energy costs, bad air quality, and increased noise levels. A well designed The chief requirements of an air conditioning duct system are It should convey specified rates of airflow to prescribed locations. It should be economical in combined initial cost, fan operating cost and cost of building space. It should not transmit or generate objectionable noise. Conditioning duct system R. A primary issue is the trade-off between the initial cost of the duct system and the energy cost of the air distribution system. Larger ducts require a larger initial investment, but result in lower fan energy costs over the life of the system. Other issues include space restrictions, noise level, capacity for expansion, appearance, etc. This course will discuss the basic fundamentals and principles of air conditioning duct design and layout. Conditioning duct system, duct work design principles. Starting with the basics, let's start at the most elementary level of airflow fundamentals. Basic definitions. The following basic terminology is extensively used in this course. CFM, volume of airflow, cubic feet slash minute. FPM, velocity or speed of airflow, feet slash minute. Square foot, duct size or cross-sectional area, square feet. Air volume in CFM can be calculated by multiplying the air velocity by the cross-sectional area of the duct in square feet. CFM equals FPMX area. Given any two of these three quantities, the third can be readily determined. FPM equals CFM slash area. Area equals CFM slash FPM. Gauge and absolute pressures. Gauge pressure is indicated on the gauge, absolute pressure is the total of the indicated. Gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure. The general equation for absolute pressure is. Gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure equals absolute pressure. For example, if the gauge reads 10 sig then, using the above equation, the absolute pressure would be 24. 7 si. 10 sig plus 14.7 psi equals 24.7 sia. Ordinary heating, ventilating, and air conditioning duct systems read air pressures at 0.4 psi or less, often much less. 1 psi equals 27.7 inches of water gauge, a common duct pressure of 0.25 inches water column is equal to 0.25 divided by 27.7 in WC slash psi equals 0 0.009 psi. Duct pressure. Duct system is pressurized by three pressures. Static pressure, it is the air pressure in the duct, which is used for fan selection. Velocity pressure, it is the pressure generated by the velocity and weight of the air, which is used for measuring the flow, CFM, in a system. Total pressure, it is used to find velocity pressure. Static pressure plus velocity pressure equals total pressure. Standard air density. Air has mass. Standard air has a density of 0.075 lbs slash foot 3. System capacity is directly affected by changes in airflow. As air is heated or humidified, its specific volume increases and its density decreases. 
if the air density is low, more CFM is required to keep the mass flow rate the same. If air density is not considered, many systems will have very low air flow. Correction for the density is however not needed in air conditioning or cooling applications, if the temperature is between 40 degrees Fahrenheit to 100 degrees Fahrenheit and up to 1000 feet in elevation. Volume Trick Air Flow Rate The volume trick flow rate of air that will be conveyed through the duct in an air conditioning system is determined by the cooling slash heat load and the desired supply air temperature. Since we are not conditioning CFMS of air but rather pounds of it, we need a mass balance equation. It is important that the air conditioning duct work system delivers and return the right amount of air from each room and provide comfort year round. This implies room by room heat loss and heat gain calculations. Air flow principles Flow of air is caused as a result of pressure differential between two points. Flow will originate from an area of high energy, or pressure, and proceed to area, S, of lower energy. Air moves according to three fundamental laws of physics. Conservation of mass, conservation of energy, and conservation of momentum. Conservation of mass. It simply states that an air mass is neither created nor destroyed. From this principle it follows that the amount of air mass coming into a junction in a ductwork system is equal to the amount of air mass leaving the junction, or the sum of air masses at each junction is equal to zero. In most cases the air in a duct is assumed to be incompressible, an assumption that overlooks the change of air density that occurs as a result of pressure loss and flow in the ductwork. In ductwork, the law of conservation of mass means a duct size can be recalculated for a new air velocity using the simple equation. V2 equals, V1 asterisk A1, slash A2 where V is velocity and A is area. The Law of Energy Conservation It states that energy cannot disappear, it is only converted from one form to another. This is the basis of one of the main expression of aerodynamics, the Bernoulli equation. Bernoulli's equation in its simple form shows that, for an elemental flow stream, the difference in total pressures between any two points in a duct is equal to the pressure loss between these points, or pressure loss, 1 to 2 equals, total pressure, 1, total pressure, 2. Conservation of Momentum It is based on Newton's law that a body will maintain its state of rest or uniform motion unless compelled by another force to change that state. This law is useful to explain flow behavior in a duct system's fitting. Total pressure, velocity pressure, and static pressure. Static pressure. Static pressure is the pressure that causes air in the duct to flow. Static pressure is the outward push of air against duct surfaces and is a measure of resistance when air moves through an object like duct work. Measured in inches of water column, in WC, it acts equally in all directions and is independent of velocity. Velocity pressure. Velocity pressure is the pressure caused by air in motion. It is equal to the product of air density and the square of the velocity divided by 2. Vp equals 0.5 x rho x v2. Using standard air, the relationship between V and VP is given by Total pressure Total pressure is the algebraic sum of velocity pressure and static pressure. TP equals VP plus SP. TP equals total pressure. VP equals velocity pressure. SP equals static pressure. Thanks for watching. Continue part 2.